Hey, wouldn't kill you if you lent us a hand. I'm working, can't you hear? Today I was sweeping up around the old city wall. There were five different colored stones, like those. You know what I mean? Back when the wall was being built, times were real different. There were lots of people who worked on it. But two of them, they were the ones who put those stones there, and they were the two of us. Yes, of course we looked a lot different then, but it was us. It, it was a sign, understand? I recognized us. Mm. Okay, it's all right. Your cave is slowly turning into a home. The stove is almost ready. Just need to put the pipe in the wall, and you can, uh, you're all set to cook. Here's to you, cockroach. I wouldn't want to cook on that stove. I bet it's all bent and crooked. You better watch out. All the pots and pans again. will slip you're off on the walking, floor. Don't hey, you liar, you cheat. You think just because you're tough mm. and strong you can get away with anything? You almost killed me. He almost killed me. Did you see that? Why? Don't know. I don't know why. I really am going to do it if he keeps on and on like that. You know, he refuses to give me one glass of wine, even though I've always paid him. Why? I don't know. I don't know why. Here, a little present for you, to bring you luck. It'll help you if you've lost something or in any other way. That's I, I gave him my radio for this. Yes, but you knew there was money hidden in the back. What do you didn't think you? I swapped my nice radio for a cheap How come break? you knew about the money and I did? Because I saw one of your customers put it there as a kind of an offering. How much was there? No more or less than my radio was worth. And so you and I have fought each other over a picture of San Antonio that's not worth a cent? Oh, so? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Victory. But how did Uncle Anthony ever get his hands on it? Because he threw the picture out. He took the money out of here and threw away the picture. Imagine throwing away a picture of San Antonio. Respect for anyone or anything. Oh, Momo, you are wonderful. Hey! 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 Pretty, isn't it? Do you like the tune? Mm. <laughs> now, if I could make up the words to go with it, I'd be happy. From now on, Momo did just fine. She had food to eat. She had a roof over her head. And the most important thing was she had lots and lots of good friends. Here. Please, taste this. I think they're ready. Mmm. What's that? For you. I found it in the garbage. have to learn to read and you're going to have to learn to write that's hard look momo there's uh, so many words yes it's less uh, uh, mm. 
Sometimes we have a long road ahead of us. And we think it's so terribly long that we'll never make it. That's what we think. And then you start rushing. And you rush and you rush. Every time you look up, you see that the road is no shorter than it was before. And you stress and you strain and you start getting frightened and out of breath. And you can't go another step. Mm -hmm. You must never think of the whole road all at once. Do you understand? You must always think of only one, just one, one step at a time. One breath, one stroke of the broom, one at a time. Then it's fun. <laughs> That's important. Then you do your job well. And that's how it should be. All of a sudden, you realize you've gone the whole way, step by step. You didn't even notice how you did it. You aren't even out of breath. That's important. <laughs> The soup looks ready to me, Mr. Fusi. Would you like me to take it up to your mother? No, I'll do it myself. You know, she doesn't like unfamiliar faces. You can get the flour. Which color? What did we have yesterday? Red. For love. Well, then let's get lilac today. But soon the people realized they had been pretty lucky too. They needed Momo. And the people would say to the ones who hadn't yet realized that they needed her, go see Momo. He doesn't sing. He doesn't sing anymore. Well, will you look at that? For half a year, not a chirp. And you just sit down and look at him, and lo and behold, I believe. I really believe we should listen to him even when he isn't singing. Matteo, can you see her yet? No, can't see a thing. But there's a storm coming. I'm scared. I'm going home now. Come on, we'll just have to play without Momo. Play what? I don't know. We'll sing or something. Let's play ship. No. 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 Yeah, we're all on a big ship. And there's a famous professor on a fantastic expedition. No, me. I want to do it. Hey, that's my mm. job. Uh, Stop banging on it. You'll see. I'm What do you need it for? None of your business. Now get off.
I see now. Cut is ready to fast. Uh, it would be terrible to kill the only example of a Shushan Ruby Lastico. Professor, this is a question of life or death. Oh, this tiny creature is going to be safe. Captain, it's a billion years old. You can't kill it. Captain, it usually appears in a microorganism as tomato sauce. Once in a while, it takes the form of green ink. Don't any of you value your lives any more than that? Malumba Baba, did you make a final see? The dodo um alfu shula mat Baba da. She says her people have a song that they sing, which will put any typhoon to sleep, provided someone has the courage to sing it. That's ridiculous! How can you believe a story like that? I certainly think it's worth giving it a try. Well, what are you waiting for? Ask her to sing it, Professor. Go ahead. Malumba, Malumba, did you always have fun? Um a Baba do. Will you play me our song? Mm-hmm. Come <sighs> beside me, sit down beside me, give me your hand now, see how is rising suspected that soon a shadow would fall across their friendship, a shadow that grew and grew, which had already begun to spread darkness and cold across the big city. It was like a soundless and imperceptible conquest that moved forward day by day, and against which nobody bothered to defend himself, because nobody knew it was happening. And the conquerors, who were they? 